Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to get the GitHub client ID and the client secret. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's go to the GitHub account. So let me log in with the GitHub. GitHub account, I'm logged in. Okay. So here we go with this one. Audio record buffers. Oh, I don't know where it is. Let's go to the settings first. Go to the settings. Here we go with the developer settings. Let's have this developer settings. We have the new auth, no new GitHub app. So I'm going to use the new one. So let me log in. I need to remember the password. Let me log in. Okay, here I'm logged in. New app that is next auth. Okay next to display this app for the github app uh, let me uh, this is for um, github login GitHub login using next yes. okay then we have to add the home url so but wherever you have the url currently i have the local host so http local host that is 3000 okay Next, we have the callback URL. So you need to add the callback. Okay, so here we have the callback already. So let me go and just copy paste that one, the callback. So this is the callback URL that you need to paste. The full fledged this one, okay, make sure. API auth and the callback, right? So this is the callback that you need to paste it over here. Okay, go to the scroll down. Okay, request authorization. Request user signing the user grant access for 25 installation of the app. Let's go for this one. Setup URL, nothing. Redirect to an update. Okay, okay. Then GitHub create. Webhook, uh, we don't require. We deliver event details with the hook will trigger. No. Any install. Allow this GitHub app to be installed by any user. Let's have a look. Is reserved for the next auth. Next auth uh, login. Okay, let's try to save this. Already taken. Okay, so we will uh, log in. Log in with GitHub. Now it should. Name is reserved. Log in with GitHub. I think that should not be reserved. Okay, so registration successful. Now we have to go with the get the client secret. So generate a new client secret here. So I'm going to create that one. So here we have this one. So this is your you can see we have this one. So make sure you generate a, uh, this client secret that you have to get into it. OK, so copy this in future uses. OK, then we have to go with the client. ID, right? This is the client. OK, generate private key. So login, this is the PEM. No, this is different thing. Okay, so this is done that we received the client uh, secret. Then we have the client ID, right? So this is the client ID. So just copy and paste this. Let me go and just copy this one. This is the client secret. I have already the app, right? So here we have the GitHub. So this is the secret that I'm going to paste and check that everything is working or not. Then we have this one client ID. So let me copy and paste in the next auth page. So here we go with this one. Let's try to run the application and let's check that the login with this is working or not. So here we go with this one. So let me open the link. So here we go with this one login. Mm -hmm. it, is re uh, it is done. Let me reload this. Okay, so currently I need to sign out first. Now logged in. GitHub. So uh, logging with the technical registry would like to take the permissions. So authorized. Okay, so you are being redirected and you log in with this one. That means the credentials which I am creating that is okay. Okay, so any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.